Joe Fry is a Greenland and Whitewater Paddler out of Columbus, Ohio. Join me as he explains and demonstrates the progression of learning the storm roll. One of the beginning techniques to learn the storm roll, people teach is called the roto roll. Yeah. I'm gonna keep I'll try to show you. So then with the storm roll, once you start doing that, you know, watch this it's thumb in the thumb in the butt technique. Yeah. That's one way. Would you know you got your thumb in the butt? And the blades on the surface. That's when you're in position. So then once you get to the full blow and you get good at that, then you go to the real storm roll. Which I'm gonna do a little short this one. The first example will be a little a little different. Right? Another slow example. Now let's do it fast. So what's the difference in that and a C to C roll? Uh, the forward finish? Yeah. Yep, the storm is essentially a forward C to C in a, in a okay. sense. Yep. In Greenland, they say there's a sweep, or the Greenland's the sweep, the reverse sweep, and a storm. They don't say C to C. It replaces the C to C. But it's definitely not the same. Yeah. C to C would be, I'm going to go into the C position, and when I come up, I'll be, I'll be in a C position. Yeah. So. Yeah. To see. Then on the storm roll, you're basically ready to paddle when you come up. Yeah, right? you're ready to, you're in an offensive, yeah. forward finish rolls are offensive positions. Gotcha. Ready to go. That's one of the big advantages to a forward finish to a layback is you're in the offensive position. And the other thing I would say is, I'll switch gears, the braces. So let's talk about bracing. You got a low brace and that, you know, we're taught low brace, smack the water and come up. Low brace is defined by elbows. Elbows down, low brace, elbows up is a high brace. So elbows down, this is the low brace they teach you. I particularly don't like that one. I think sh elbows, shoulders, eyes down is a forward finishing position. So if I was to do a low brace, I'm gonna do it and go into a forward finishing position. Elbows, eyes, shoulders down. Low brace, look more like this. All right, go forward. Into the offensive position. Same thing for a high brace. I call it two dimensional. I don't like the two dimensional high brace. It would be like this. Two dimensional high brace. I don't really care for that as much. I would, okay, I'd rather replace for me my high brace with a side skull. Would I'd be more like this. I'm holding the water, I'm in control. My body's not getting thrown down. You see, I catch myself. So with the skull, you can grab and get more stability. Yeah, if you. It's a toss, you know, you make a decision how to the high brace if you want to come up fast, maybe, but you don't want to make a mistake and fail. So that's where I think side skull comes in. I got to do more side skulling. Having all tools is valuable. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Joe has his own channel called Creek Ken. I'll put a link to that in the description. And if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button so you can see what we got coming up next. <laughs>